That guy pulls next to all the hooded trucks. <laughs> Bro, literally all the hood trucks are parked right there. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's Party Road, that gummit. Hey, welcome to this week's edition of Bonehead Truckers of the Week. This is a place where we make fun of the dumb stuff we see out here on the road. So if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button and share this video to all your Facebook friends. All right, and if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you follow this, you know, follow this page and Share this video out. Let it get on all out there, okay? And if you got videos and clips you want to send to see on Bonehead Truckers, send them to contact at boneheadtruckers.com. That's our email address. Or join our Facebook group. Say no to Bonehead Truckers. Link is in the description. And again, if you're watching this on Facebook, you could send us a message with a clip if you want to. We'll see if we can get up on the Bonehead Truckers of the week, okay? Okay, okay. Anyways, uh, this is a dangerous spot. You got passing side and suicide. Uh, now, this driver had no... Uh, listen, you couldn't see that guy? I could. <laughs> Watch it. Look, this guy punctured this tanker right here. Fuel spilling out all over the road right there. Watch it, a little old car wanting to drive through. Don't do it, your car. Uh, taking too much of a chance to go up and smoke, don't you know? Or flames, ain't no smoke about that. That'd be a terrible situation right there. All right. Now, I don't know what this daggone problem is right here. He's like stopping right here. Like he's all confused. Like I'm not sure if I'm going to stop right here and go to this truck stop or the next one. I can't know their driver. That's what he's sitting there saying. I can't know. He probably don't know because the GPS ain't telling him which one he should be stopping at. Friggin'. Or, or this guy, I don't even know. This is, I tell you what, we've got some brain dead truck drivers in the industry these days. Let me tell you. All right. And because of that, that's the reason why we have bonehead truckers. Okay. All right. That's just how it is. We got bonehead truckers because of that. Speaking of brain dead right here, watch this guy. He's going to go run a red light. He says, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and go. Who cares? Who cares? I'm going to go. National Transportation Practice Team at CIA consists of Brian Dale, Tyler Nybeck, Donna Finney, and a highly proficient service staff with well over 100 years of combined experience. We offer solutions for everyone in trucking from the owner-operator to the mega fleet to help you and your company not be on the Bonehead Truckers YouTube page. We are not in the business of sales. We are problem solvers. We operate as a broker, consultant, and solutions provider. We help owner-operators and small fleet business owners navigate towards lower risk, which means more value from your policy at a lower cost. We help medium and large fleet business owners with preparation for taking on risk and entering captives, CS a score and risk reduction, defense strategies, DOT audit preparedness, and we offer full market transparency. Our 99.3% client retention rate tells us that you'll be happy you made the switch. Contact us today. I love that music, by the way. I think it's great music. Makes me want to go get some commercial insurance, don't you know? This, this guy may need some insurance right here because... I think he tried to either go park there for the night, maybe he went to go down there in that creek and go down there and do some fishing. Huh? You gotta go do some fishing. Huh? Anyway, look there. That's a pee, uh, pee bottle right here. This is this is something I just found out. This Thanks to this driver, I didn't know that you could actually do this. You could actually take your piss bottles and put them in the trash can. I didn't know you could do that. I just thought those things were there for decoration. This old fella on the Texas rest area sitting there taking a leak. Taking a leak on our pavement when there's a freaking bathroom down yonder. Dang, I'm people so dang I'm lazy you can't even walk. Huh? Hey, that ain't supposed to how you do it. I can't know why you up there. Why you doing that there, driver? Hey. Look at this fella, he daggum didn't check his pen. Look here. Huh? Look, this is, that, this is at a Walmart too. What are you doing there freaking dropping crap at a Walmart? From all places, you could have done it at 
Albertsons or Kroger or Target, but you did it at a Walmart. Anyway, this guy decided he wanted to go drive through a grass, some grass. Here, this is Trucking 101 right here. Trucking 101. Don't take your semi into the grass. You're gonna have you're gonna have a terrible situation if you attempt to do it. <clears throat> nah, I mean that's just what he is. You know, and they're gonna try to pull him out with a strap. Yeah, I don't see it. Call a tow truck. Call a tow truck. Watch this guy wipe out right here. Oh, whoa, that actually looked kind of fun. Let's try to do that again. Maybe not. Anyway. Be careful out there, I tell you. Follow, you're sitting there, following your GPS, and this is what happens. Your GPS on your phone. It's not even a trucker's GPS. That's a swifty swift move. Now we're going back to the truck stop fuel islands right here, and we got all these guys. Watch this guy. We got these, we got some money clips coming up, and clips, okay? This guy going to go. Worst truck in the freaking fuel island. That's not what you do in a fuel island. You get fuel in a fuel island. You don't worse your truck. That's for the streak and bacon. This week's money clips brought to you by TRC Freight, home of the 88% and good bourbon. Blocking the fuel line. This you? Why are you blocking the fuel line? You're gonna end up on bonehead truckers, you know that, right? Yeah, my fault. Your fault. When you go get McDonald's, you're supposed to go park, not block a fuel lane. That's key. Blocking the fuel lane. Pilot, Battle Creek, Michigan. You gotta block the fuel lane to go get McDonald's? You gotta go and block the fuel lane to get McDonald's? And McDonald's. So what? You're blocking the fuel lane. I'm trying to and leave. I got fuel and I got gas. And then you went in and got McDonald's. So fucking what? Everybody does. You're gonna be on bonehead truckers. I don't care. 377. For MHC. Uh huh. Blocking the fuel lane here at Battle Creek, Michigan. I'm going to say if I did a nice mistake to blah, 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 blah. Hey, buddy, you're blocking the fuel island. Welcome to Bonehead Truckers. You're going to be a star on YouTube. Hey, what do you got to say? <laughs> This guy's waiting for the pump, eh? Congratulations, you're gonna be on Ballhead Truckers! I tell you what, these guys wearing these flip-flops. We're making a stand against flip-flops here on Bonehead Truckers. Okay, go to boneheadtruckers.com and order your decals. Okay, because we're just taking the, we are the anti-flip-flop trucking community. Okay, that's what we are right here on Bonehead Truckers. And if you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. Wear your flip-flops and, and yeah, you'll get on Bonehead Truckers. That's what's going to happen. All right, owner-operators, Lee Sops, you looking for some fuel discounts this Christmas? Save you some daggum money. Okay, call Blake up, 913-521-6875. He will work with you. Okay, so if you're already getting fuel discounts somewhere else, he can do it better. He done did tell me he could. Tell him Bonehead Trucker sent you.